Hello, today I'm going to show you how to use your Twitter account after I've set it up. And we're on the Twitter homepage here, so for starters you're going to want to go into login. And we'll enter our information there. And our password. Now this will start with the password I've given you, and I will show you how to change that later. Okay, we're going to go into the basics here for starters. Okay, we're currently, as you can see with the highlight here, we're on the home area. Okay, we're going to start with taking you into your account. So we're going to click up in the corner beside this tweet. You might, you should have an image there, but if you don't, just click right by the tweet. It says profile and settings. Okay, so view profile, lists, if I've made lists of stuff, of, uh, Somebody has, say they do marketing and stuff, so I make a marketing list and then I'd put them in because they've got some good marketing tips. That would be what your lists are. Help, they give you some help, keyboard sh shortcuts, Twitter ads and analytics, something I'm not going to get into today, but this would be where you would go if you wanted to keep track of how well your posts are doing and your ads, as well as putting ads out. Um, in the meantime, we're going to go into settings. As you can see here, you log out there. Okay, settings. So we'll go in here. As you can see, I've set my username right here. So right here, https twitter.com for pause publish. That would be my Twitter account's main page or where, where my profile page, sorry. So that's my Twitter account's profile page and there's my username. Okay, and I've got my email in there. My language is English. If you're Saskatchewan time, it's right there or you can click there and pick whatever time you want. Same for language. Content, Canada. Tweet media. Do not inform me before showing media that may be sensitive. Now, if you don't want to see sensitive photos or videos or anything, you'll want to click that. Mark, all, mark media I tweet is containing material that may be sensitive. So if somebody else is going to be uncomfortable with seeing your posts, you need to be marking that. Otherwise, you're going to have some angry people. Video tweets. You can decide whether you want the videos to autoplay or not. And, and these would be for videos, GIFs, and says Vines. And basically these are auto-playing for you. Well, do you want to have them auto-play right now or do you want to click them? So I actually prefer my not auto-playing. So there we go. So I've unclicked it. The timeline, show me the best tweets first so you can see that or not see that. And your Twitter archive, so you can request your archive. Now what that is, is they will show you every tweet, response, and any interaction with you from now to the beginning of time. And it does tend to take a while to download, so expect your computer to possibly freeze up for a little while while it does this. If you wanted to deactivate your account, you click there. And don't forget any time that you've made any changes in the settings area that you click Save Changes. And it wants my password again to comply. So there we go. Thank you. Settings have been changed. Now we're going to go into security and privacy. You can have your logins verified. This is one way to keep your account from getting hacked. Um, require personal information to reset your password. That's always a good thing because then if, if you forget your password or somebody hacks in or whatever, you can reset it this way without having to worry. Um, log in with code. Allow my account to log in with either a password or login code. Always require a password to log into my account and that sounds good to me. Photo tagging. Now this is when some people will say there's a photo of you out there and, and some people they'll tag you anyways even if you're not in the photo. Sometimes because they think it's useful information to you or because it has to, they feel it's about you, just different stuff like that. 
So tagging you means that they're tagging that you're in that photo. They're saying that you're in that photo and you can either allow anyone to tag you, only allow people you follow to tag you, or don't allow anyone to tag you. Tweet privacy, protect my tweets. Now, if you're not, this is if you're doing a private account, I would recommend that. But if you're doing an author account or a music account, anything where you're kind of a public figure, you really don't want to be keeping that as private because then that means that anybody outside of you won't be able to see the tweets. Um, where you may want to do the, the tweet privacy, and I have seen, is if you have uh, you're a children's author or you're using your children's character and you don't exactly want any dirty stuff or posts about you or any you know people replying to you trying to get you interested in their stuff when you have a children's account and children are going to be viewing it so that might be where you protect your tweets and people have to request to to follow you and when they request to follow you, then you can kind of screen them and then they'll be able to see your accounts if you accept them. And again, if you're just a regular author, I wouldn't recommend that. But if you're having children interacting with you as a children's author, I would recommend it. Tweet locations, add a location to your tweet. Um, this would be, would lo every time you tweet it, it would automatically post where you are. Now, if, if you're going to be posting and tweeting all the time at events and other areas, then that would be perfect for you. If you're tweeting from home, though, and you want to be keeping that private, which I would probably recommend, then you don't really want to be having tweet locations, and that's why mine is off. Um, you can, if you want say you are an at an event and you want people knowing where you are located at the time you can do that automatically set that up and do it per post so i would go maybe go that way unless you're comfortable with people knowing wherever you are discoverability let people find you by your email address so if they know your email address or your phone number they could locate you so unless you have some reason that you know you don't want your friends and family or whoever's in your list to know that you're on Twitter, then I would keep those checked. Um, address book, manage your contacts. So you can get go into your email accounts and get the contacts from there and see if they're on Twitter. Uh, personalization, tailor tweets, tw tailor Twitter based on your recent website visits. So what happens is they use cookies and they see what websites you're going to and then they personalize it according to you. Um, I like a little privacy so I prefer not but if you're comfortable with that or if you do want you know it it based more on, on what you're doing then click it. Promoted content this is like the ads when you they just they pop up automatically and they're an automatic ad in that and sometimes you know it's all paid advertising they try to tailor it based on on what you're interested in and whatnot and they share this information with with their program for the ads so that you know it, it you get the ads that are meant for you so Twitter for teams um, that's kind of new, so I, I don't know a whole lot about it, but I can honestly say that I would probably prefer nobody add me to their team. Um, you can have people that you follow add you or add anyone, let anyone add you, but like I said, I would maybe just kind of keep it private. And when I learn more about that, then I will redo this video. Um, receive direct messages from anyone. I don't know why mine's not clicked. Um, the direct messages, this is when people go to your, your profile and they'll, they'll send you a message instead of a, a tweet. So then it's kept private. Uh, as an author, it would probably be a good idea to keep them as receiving them from anyone because there's going to be fans out there and that, that maybe are in, you're, they're interested, you know, in 
sending you a message and talking to you. If you don't have time to be going through the messages or you don't want to be doing a lot of interaction, then I wouldn't click this. And it does say that if selected, you will be able to receive messages from any Twitter user even if they do not you do not follow them. So right now it's saying that you can only receive messages if you follow them. So if you're following Sue, then you can get messages from Sue, but if you're not following Tom, Tom can't send you messages. And that would be by not putting the check in there. And as a business, you probably should be getting having that check so that you can receive tweets or messages from everyone. So I'm saving that. And I guess I have it set up quite good because I have to click that every time. Okay, into the password area. So if you wanted to change the password, and now if, if you're coming in right after I've set this up for you, then I, unless you're going to have me, well, you should just switch it. Use the password I gave you. And, okay, so you're going to want to switch this right away. So enter your password here, the password I've given you, and enter new password and verify it, then save changes. Once I have your account set up here, if you need me to get in again, then you can just go back in here and put your password and just give me a simple easy password to use and I'll go in and then come back here again after and switch it. Okay, because it's important that you're keeping it private and to be honest with you, I only remember important stuff so I'm going to forget your password anyway. So you, it's just better if you, if you switch it around and, and then just give me another one if you need me going in to fix anything. Okay, um, cards and shipping, we're going to leave all of that for now. Same for order history and we're also going to leave a little bit of other stuff just simply because I'm just trying to give you a basic how-to here. Okay, your mobile, if you want to get, you know, it's partly to protect your account but also if you want to be using your phone with it, you could put your phone in there and continue. Okay, email notifications go through that. You might not want to be getting notifications for everything. If you don't want to receive any at all, turn it off, but I wouldn't recommend that simply because you're going to have people contacting you or replying and it's going to go into your email and if you're not in Twitter absolutely every minute, you're going to miss the stuff. Just go through it bit by bit, decide what you want, what's important, what's not, and then just save your changes there. You know, interaction is important. If you're not interacting, people are going to lose interest in your account. And you're going to lose people following you. And the web notifications, that's just giving you notifications here in your browser. So when, when your window's open and that, you'll, you'll get little posts in that. Um, you can find friends going through your, again, your address books. Muted accounts. Um, I'm going to explain those more in a minute and same for blocked accounts, but you would find the muted ones here, blocked ones here. Okay, going into designs. You can pick any type of background and I will show you more of that. You can change the colors, the background color, the theme color, background position, left, center, right, and you can do tiled, but I, I really wouldn't recommend it, it unless it works for the design. Okay, your apps. Um, I've got connections here to some of my stuff. I'm connected to Weebly, the website. I'm connected to Google. Um, Twitonomy is something that'll do posts for you ahead of time, and it's free. Uh, there's a bunch of stuff uh, that you can link to. A lot of them ask to link to it from those website things themselves. So if you like to Weebly, it'll, it'll automatically link and connect and ask about linking and connecting and, and whatnot. So you do that there. If you wanted to connect to Facebook, you click connect. It's going to say log into Facebook and it wants to connect as, let me just see if that's the correct. 
Oh, that was the correct one. Okay, so then I'm going to let it connect that way. So there we go. Okay. And who do you want to share with? Friends, public, only me, your custom. Okay, my profile's public, so I set it to public. And my posts on, there are post retweets to Facebook, post to my Facebook profile, allow posting to one of your pages, and in that case, you click allow, and then you pick your page. Okay, and then there. If you want to disconnect any of them or revoke access, you do that. Uh, you can stop posting to your page and all of that there. And of course, uh, this one doesn't have a, send, a save. Okay, widgets. Wid widgets are those little things that you attach to your website. So what you do here in the widgets area is you'd create a widget. So as you can see here, it says user timeline. These are all my posts that would be on my my Twitter wall that I've done. So they're all in here and this is the preview for it. It shows you uh, you can set up a light theme or see a dark theme. You can exclude replies which is probably recommended because otherwise your tweet little list is going to be very long. Um, and then you click here you can change the colors see default size switch that if you want and then just click create widget if now if you don't want people seeing the user timeline which is like every single post you could even do a likes one so then it's showing here everything that I've liked every single post that I've liked it's listing it and again you have control over what you want to do and create widget lists now if I had a list of marketing tips and everybody's account that has marketing tips I would put them in that list for marketing tips and then I could share my list here search now if I was searching for something in particular like here then it would list everything having to do with that hashtag collections not sure about that just yet but it says that only collections that I've created would be available okay so I'm just gonna cancel here and I'm gonna show you what I already have here I have tweets by four pause games and publishing and you can edit it or delete now as you can see mine's here you can view it on Twitter or embed now if you look down here there's the HTML code to embed it um, if you're using one of our websites there is a way to do HTML and I will show you that on a, another how-to video but you would copy this code and take it to the website so when you're done just save changes okay now I'm gonna take you to another area okay we're going to start with messages now if you see here there's different messages that I've sent out or people have sent to me this is kinda of like when you're on Facebook and you're getting messages people can send you messages and you send them messages so that's where this would be and usually there's some sort of a little mark I think it's a red dot that appears on here letting you know that you have a message uh, notifications it does the same thing it has something up there to let you know that again you have notifications now what are notifications just take you to the page here notifications are things like someone liked your tweet somebody retweeted you somebody replied back to you people followed you so it covers all of those and that's where you'd find what you would find in the notifications mentions are kind of when your at name is listed and somebody either posts something or says something to you so that's where the mentions are 
Okay, now I'm just going to take you to the home page here. If you notice here, it has trends. You can change Canada trends to pick different areas or tailored trends or search, search locations. So maybe I will see. Oh, I don't have anything for that. Well, you can check in here and see if they have anything. Now notice the hashtags here. Make sure that you're careful before doing hashtags. Um, hashtags are important because it does help find what people are looking for better. Now this one here, if you take a look, it says hashtag books. So anybody looking for books in particular would find that there. I, I would recommend as refined as possible because books, that could be children's books, adult books, really anything. It's a wide range. Try to make it more, you know, more tailored to you. You know, if you're writing a romance novel, hashtag romance novels, not hashtag books. Try to be more detailed, more refined in, in searches so that people can find you easier. People find what they're looking for and not what they're not looking for. If you notice up here, there's a little dot by the home and then here it says there's view one new tweet. That's, I believe, how those ones work. Now going over here, they've got crosswords. So there's hashtag crossword. Now that's a good hashtag for this because it is a crossword. So if you t click on that, then anything having to do with crosswords, we've got a whole list. So these are the top hashtag crossword, live accounts that have to do with that, crossword tracker, crossword books, okay, um, photos, photos with crosswords, videos with crosswords, and it does say more or anything having to do with crosswords. I mean, obviously this isn't a crossword puzzle, but they have something to do with crossword. Now more options, and you can click news, photos, accounts, tweets. You can embed the search if, if for some reason you wanted people to be able to find that. Say if you wrote romance novels and you have a whole website sharing romance posts then you might want to click hashtag romance novels and then embed that search into your Facebook page or into your website so there's all sorts of things here you can do choose from okay now I'm just gonna go back here once more okay be careful when you're doing hashtags again you want to try to t to fix it so that it's as close to what you're doing as you can. So if I'm typing something like I did earlier today, I wrote an article on marketing, then what I would do is I would use hashtag marketing, hashtag marketing tips. Now also don't make the mistake of just putting hashtags in this, because if you just go hashtag type type type, hashtag type 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 and then you don't put anything for description or anything and you share the post people aren't going to look at it be, or they're less likely to look at it because yes they know it's about marketing tips but they don't know if it's of interest to them so try to give yourself a nice clear short description of what the post is about but also make sure that it's going to be of interest to them so my article today, I'm just going to take us over there. My article today was on 30 book marketing tips. So my hashtags were book marketing and marketing tips. And 30 book marketing tips. So I kept it so that they know what it's about. There's the link for it on our website. And I hashtagged two main ones that have to do with this. So that is how you want to do things. You want to keep everything, make sure that you're going to keep them interested, explain, be detailed, be concise, but also remember it's Twitter, so be short. Never post anything for hashtags on here 
like if you just say you found March Madness, so then you decided to to post something about you know and use the hashtag March Madness. Look into the hashtag you're going to use first if it's something different or something on here. Yes, these are trending right now, but you can look like a big idiot by posting March Madness and say I put a picture of a little rabbit in the grass and March Madness if you look here has to do with basketball. So just try to be careful with with what you're posting and then you don't look like an an idiot and like you don't know what you're talking about. Okay, now I'm showing you all three here. I've shown you how to get into your settings. For tweeting, these are the people that I'm following. So this is where their tweets would be. Um, they give you suggestions for who you can follow, for finding friends, for the latest hashtags and things of interest. You can change to Canada, wherever. Um, we're going to start by just showing you here first. Now you type in your tweet and your hashtags. You can add a photo or video. I have location disabled. So I guess you have to turn on location to get that to work. Um, you can add a GIF or a poll and then you just click tweet. Remember you only have 140 characters. That includes your hashtags, your link, everything. So limit what you post but be descriptive. Now up here, you know, we clicked here and we clicked March Madness, hashtag March Madness. Okay, so we could click again, hashtag, well, March Madness. Or if you don't want to search by hashtag and you're looking for someone, okay, well, here we go, finding one of our authors. I just clicked in her name and here we are. Here's her page here. So you can find people by not typing a hashtag or you can find subjects by typing a hashtag. And you hit enter or the the little search button there. Okay now I'm going to explain to you the area over here. 303 tweets that means that I've put 303 tweets out, 303 posts out. Following, I'm following 39 people. I have 35 followers. Now you can click on each of those and get information. So we'll start with this. 303 tweets. Now as you can see, every single one of my tweets, except for in here where they recommend or they tell you you followed someone in that, they have all of my tweets here. Okay, and I'm just going to go back to the home once more. Oh, maybe I don't have to. Okay. Following. So I'll click following. And it shows me all of the different people I'm following. And I can unfollow them. Now remember I showed you earlier how to... I told you that there was a, the block area. And it lists who you've blocked. And it also lists who you've... Um, who you're muting. So what I'm going to show you now is how to do that. Now you see the little the little button there, the uh, widget there, or gadget or whatever the heck those things are called. Okay, you click that and it says I can tweet to him, add him to a list or remove him from a list. I can mute him and what that means is he'll see I'm still following him. I can still follow him but if he posts 50 posts in an hour and it's kind of like spamming my whole wall there that you know I'm trying to view everybody's stuff and I'm seeing all of his posts instead I can mute that so I don't see his posts anymore now if he was pestering me or something I could block him or report him um, another thing you could do is say you're following someone but they get a lot of retweets. You can turn off the retweets and say I'm following him but I don't want to be getting mobile notifications every time he tweets. I can turn that, well I guess it's already off so you can turn it on there. And you can also embed their profile. 
it going to followers now? These are the people that follow me. So at List them, and again, it, it's the same thing. You can turn off retweets, turn on mobile. It, it works exactly the same way. Likes, that would be when somebody wrote to me and I clicked the little heart for like. Um, also, just so you know, that's a retweet. That's a reply to reply back to them, see? View your conversation so you can see all the conversation that you had back and forth for this post. Uh, share via direct message, copy link to tweet, embed, mute, block, report. So all of that is similar there. Now again this is your main feed that you see of everyone else posting and that's the areas where I was saying you may want to block someone if they had 50 posts or, or they were getting a ton of retweets and you didn't care about their re retweets just about their posts. Now if I click here, my at name shows my profile image and my cover. You can change these at any time. So we're going to start. This is actually my wall here. And if you notice, twitter.com for pause publish. Okay, so this is my page, my profile for Twitter. And I've got the cover, I've got the image. Um, I couldn't fit my full name in there, so it's for pause games publishing. I picked the username, and again, they limit you with characters, so for pause publish. You can do a bio, but you do have to leave it short because, again, they don't give you a whole ton of room. I've put my location in there. I've got my link for my website. It says I've got 78 photos and videos, and you can click that and go through them all. These are my tweets tweets and replies, photos and videos. Okay, now I've shown you that, and again this is where we were for all of that, but now I'm going to show you a little bit more here. Um, these are again recommendations for following. It tells you your tweet activity, how many impressions you got over the last 28 days, your top tweets, and again, the trends and hashtags that are popular. We're going to go in here and click Edit Profile. You can change your header. You can change your profile image, your full name here. Um, once you hit this to set up, again, you had to go into your settings. The information here for your bio, your location. Uh, don't give out anything too personal. Theme color, if you click there, you can switch to any one of these theme colors. You click there, you can enter the number for the color. So right now we're purple, so I'm just going to click cancel so you can see. If you notice, these are purple. My tweet button is purple. The tweets themselves are purple. My information is purple, and everything there is purple. So some of the writing goes purple. And that is going to also be what everyone else can see. So say you don't like purple. You click there and pick a different color. So I'll save. Make sure that when you are picking a color, you aren't picking something really light unless you have a really dark background here. And I probably wouldn't recommend that because then nobody would see your, your tips and all that here. Now, pick something dark for these. You want it to be seen. Um, birthday here. You can set your birthday up and you can set it for public, for your followers, for people you follow, for if you only follow each other or for only you. Okay? Um, if you're comfortable sharing your birthday and month so that, you know, your fans want to celebrate too, you you can do that. Um, I maybe wouldn't would only recommend doing it for your followers though. And I would keep your year private because you're, unless you're really comfortable, because